Hey, what's up you guys? This is Visual Guide here, and in today's Lightroom workflow video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we go from this dull and bland landscape photo to this beautiful, vibrant landscape photograph. Let's get it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over to my lens corrections and just enable my profile corrections to uh, round out the edges. Um, I actually want these shadows or the vignette to not be as strong, so I'm going to bring that up. And then I'm actually going to see how it looks better. I actually like that. I'm going to go to 180 just because. And now we can start doing some basic adjustments. So I'm just going to go into auto, see what that does. doesn't really do anything. Daylight kind of actually makes it look pretty nice. I like daylight. It adds like a lot of purple into the picture, which is actually much needed. It creates this nice warm feeling. If you look at the picture as I bring this up, it kind of brings out, obviously it's an extremity, but I could bring it down. I definitely am liking the way these purple tones are coming out of the photo though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna bring this up all the, a little bit more, and then maybe even bring up the the the, the, the sunlight or the uh, warmth, should I say. I think that's actually looking pretty good. This might be a little bit of an extremity, so I'm just gonna turn it down a little. Uh, exposure, looking at it, looks fine. I think my shadows is where I'm gonna need a lot of the help. Adds just some contrast just to add the punch. Bring the highlights all the way down, bring the shadows all the way up. Let's bring some whites out. Let's counteract that with some blacks. Look at how much more beautiful the picture is already looking. Just a before and after, it's already looking way more vibrant. Obviously, it's just kind of a rough sketch of what I'm trying to get accomplished. But it's, so far, I'm I'm loving it. It's looking it's looking good. I'm gonna go a little bit above this. I'm gonna try to bring some of it down with the blacks. And that is looking amazing so far. Let's see what the clarity will do. I actually don't really like the way it's looking with the clarity, so I'm just going to put a little bit on it. Bring some vibrance out. Bring some color out because this is kind of like a woodland scene, and you guys can see already looking way different and looking way better. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my tone curve and see if adding any contrast does something to the picture that I like. Strong crash is a little bit too much. I'm going to bring out some of these darks. Bring down some of the shadows. And just by going through that, it's actually looking way better already. As you can see, it kind of brings out a lot of the detail in the picture. Kind of brings your eyes towards, you know, this is what I'm trying to, you know, get people to look at. Next thing I want to focus on is my HSL tab. Let me see if the hues will do anything to this picture. I'm going to turn these reds more to the orangey side. I'm going to bring these down because I want it to look a little bit more warm or more like a fall's day. I love the way that that's looking so far. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, watching how I edit these pictures and hopefully you guys can become better photographers as well. So even just by doing like a basic HSL adjustment so far, I can see you can turn it on and off. It kind of adds more warmth into the picture, especially around right here in the mid. Uh, it's kind of more greenery and shrubbery before, but when you do this, it looks a lot more fulfilling and more colorful. Uh, moving on to the greens, do I even want to adjust these? I do. I'm going to make these more to the yellow side. I like the way that this picture is coming out already. I'm not even going to lie. I actually do have blue tones, and I was actually kind of surprised about that. I didn't think I was going to have any. I'm just going to turn those up to some purples. And now going over to the saturation, I'm going to bring out some of the oranges. Bring out some of the yellows. I don't want to overdo it. That's something you want to be careful with. I actually do a lot with saturation in pictures, and uh, I would say my style is very extreme, and a lot of people are usually... Uh, uh, they don't really shoot like that. A lot of people shoot with contrast, and uh, contrast just bring, does bring out saturation, but more contrast, I mean, in the dark sense, where they shoot with a lot of shadow play and stuff like that. I like my vibrant style. I think it's pretty cool. I love the way this is looking so far. Bring up the luminance. And I think that'll do it for the HSL tab. Look at that, just, there's a lot more greenery right here, and if I turn it back on, if you pay attention to that area, kind of adds this nice purple tone edge to it, which I really like, and I'm digging. I'm just going to skip over split toning, go straight to my detail tab. That's what I wanted. 
Okay, I was wondering why I wasn't giving you my preview. I'm going to just go to my regular around 70, 75. Bring some detail out. All right, then I'm going to mask it a little. And I think that is looking amazing, guys. If you do it before and after, wow, world of difference. Now moving on to the split toning, uh, I'm just going to add a little bit just to see what it does. And then I'm just going to scroll through the different colors and see what I like. Now you can do this really fast. I'm doing mine with my mouse wheel just so it goes by pretty quick. I'm actually liking the way the blue kind of kind of brings that down. All right, I'm going to remember 220. Purple is too strong. So all I did was add a little bit of greens right there. Uh, I'm going to see if the shadows will do anything to the picture. I'm loving that color right there, 231. I already know that's the one. Like, you don't got to keep looking for colors if you see one that you really, really like. If you see one that you like, just go for it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to balance it so that it's more yellow than blue. So I got to bring this up. Don't need it to be that strong, I'll put it to 12. And what this does is it's basically the balance beam between your highlights and your shadows, which color of the two will be stronger. I'm gonna see if adding a vignette will do anything for this photo. I doubt it, but it might be worth a shot. Man, I'm, I, I can't, I don't know whether I wanna use a vignette or not. And what I did is instead of doing the vignette through here because you can get different kinds of vignettes, I skipped that one and I went over to my effects tab. And I'm actually liking the way this one's looking. It's looking a lot more rounded and it's actually going for the effect that I'm trying to create. Now, last thing I want to do with this picture is go over to this camera calibration and then just start messing with some of these shadows and see if it does anything for the picture that I actually like. I'm liking the way these greens are looking. I'm going to just lower this a little bit. And there you go. With this, you can see it adds a little bit more color. And that is looking like a good final product to me. Here is the before and after. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys want to see more, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, you guys. <laughs>